Hey, this is Danny from Pico Dev Support. I want to show you how easy it is to get started with our SDK and Unity. First, we'll head over to our Pico Developer website, which you can find our PDC app, which will help speed up with the live preview, the Unity OpenXR and Unity SDK, which we'll use for this project, and the documentation for each, which actually has a lot of helpful information. Once you download the correct SDK, I'll go over a couple of different ways to add it to your project. We'll grab Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit, then a few quick, easy steps to get them working together. Let's get started. Here we have our new Unity project. Go to File, Build Settings. Let's switch to the Android platform. Let's start by importing our latest Pico SDK, which you can download from our developer website that I will link below. Two ways we can do this. First, we can go to Windows, Package Manager, Plus sign here, add package from disk. And we can just go to wherever you downloaded the Pico SDK. And you can find the package.json file here and just open that. And Unity will have that package here and it'll start installing. Once Unity finishes loading, let's check what the package is here. You can go to your assets folder. And where this is located. And go to packages. You can just check here manifest.json. Let's check this really quick. And you can see here the Pico SDK is loaded correctly, but because we did it by loading the package from the file, it actually has a path to the file wherever you actually downloaded it. So this can become an issue if you ever move your project and use source control. Uh, it's going to be a lot more complex. So let's do it a different way. Let's start by removing this. And save it. Do the same thing for your packages. And let's find where we had it. And again, this is from a local path. We don't want that. We want to actually put it into the Unity project. So let's delete this part. I save. And since we have this packages folder already open, what we're going to do is we're just going to add our Pico SDK to the whole folder itself. So I have an SDK downloaded. I move the whole SDK folder inside here. And I move the our Pico SDK right into the packages folder. Go back to Unity and it's going to load. And now the SDK is actually part of your Unity project now. So we can go ahead and go build settings, player, take it back. Everything's still here. Great. And we'll go over the rest of the Pico uh, settings in another video. Next, we want to import Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit. So go to Package Manager. And we want to add package by name. Go ahead and add. There we go. Once Unity finishes loading, name this one here. And you actually want to import the starter assets as well. Go ahead and import that. Let this load. Once the toolkit and the sample scene finishes loading, we can actually find it here. Open the demo scene. Sample scene actually gives you a lot of interactions to learn from. And for most projects, this will cover everything you need for basic interaction. So let's head over to the complete XR origin setup here. Find our XR origin. This actually contains most of your VR player components here. Head over to the XR origin and set the tracking mode to the floor so you have the correct height. Let's add in our PXR manager here. This actually handles our recentering on home button the feature, our open screen fade, foveation levels for optimization so let's go, go ahead and click an open screen fade and right now unity's system actually set to use unity's generic controller and we don't want that we want to use our pico sdk so go ahead and find your left controller here go to xr controller and on the model prefab we want to be using the pico sdk model prefab here so go to your assets and go to your packages here Pico integration, find the prefab of the left controller. And let's add it in for left here. Do the same thing for the right hand. And we want to make sure we want to animate the model. 
move in here and we'll animate the model here and that's it for actually setting up the scene here and now this works right out of the box right easy so let's save this as a new scene save as scene let's call it the pico sample scene right we're almost quite done build settings make sure we have that new scene that we just saved into our build settings here and for the run device make sure it's pointed That's to it. our Let's developer build and run. mode pico device for the, player the next settings. video we're actually going to go through the player settings and go over here, the optimizations we want to make sure the minimum level of api for the android is set to 29 and the xr plugin management here we have pico enabled